Welcome to the Morning Meditation Podcast with your host, Joe Consford, brought to you by HardwareOnTheSquare.com. The Greatness of John the Baptist, Luke chapter 1, verse 15 and 16. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. Jesus said in Matthew 11.11, Verily I say unto you, Among them that are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. A greater tribute has been paid to no man than what is said of John the Baptist by Jesus Christ. Let's notice some areas of greatness in John the Baptist. He was great before the Lord. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord. John had discovered the Lord and had gotten right with him. This is the necessary prerequisite of being great in God's sight. John was a man entirely separated unto God, with no interest to come between him and his service to God. He was a prophet with a message. He did not cut any corners or spare the guilty. It was, Thus saith the Lord with John. Do you want to be great in the sight of the Lord? Then it must be of the utmost importance to be important to him. This must be our desire. The Lord must come first. He was great in himself. John was great because he had greatness dwelling in him. He was filled with the Holy Ghost, not the greatness of his own will or purpose or goodness, but the greatness of God dwelling in him. This implies that he died to himself that God might live and move in him. Not I, but Christ in me. Man's original greatness was lowered to the dust through sin and eternally ruined. The way into greatness in the divine eyes is not by self-reformation, but by self-abnegation. Paul put it, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Divine possession, filled with the Holy Spirit, yielded up to the will of God as taught by His Spirit abiding within. Ephesians 5.18 And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit. All true greatness comes from Him who alone is great. Great in wisdom, holiness, and power. Heavenly Wisdom To be filled with the Spirit is to be filled with the knowledge of His will, so that every thought and act may be in perfect harmony with the mind of God. He that worketh in us both to will and to do of His good pleasure. The wisdom of the Christian comes directly from Christ. He was great among His fellow men. Luke one sixteen says, And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. We see in John a great faithfulness. His ministry gives abundant evidence of his fearlessness and devotion to the work of God. Like the apostle of the Gentiles, he could say, This one thing I do. Philippians 3.13 We see in John a great power like the greater one who was to come after him, but spoke with power. His word was sharp and quick and powerful, because it was a word that burned in his bones. He was in vital symphony in his message. It was to him no task committed to memory, but the living truth blazing in a living soul and dropping from his glowing tongue like coals of fire.
we see in John a great success. Many turn to the Lord. A Holy Ghost ministry is always a success. It is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father that will never speak without telling effect. The secret of his success lay in his exalting the Lord and not himself. He must increase and I must decrease. May the Lord bless these words to our hearts today. Join us each day as we meditate on the Word together. Be sure to subscribe and leave an objective review on your favorite podcast player app. You can always find us on the web at hardwareonthesquare.com slash podcast.